Well, the total eclipse of the Hoat. We've been talking about this for months, and we're getting closer to the big day of the total solar eclipse. Joining us today, Stacy Killian here from the Tarot Children's Museum to talk about all the wonderful things that you all are doing. You've made this, you've built the enthusiasm, is what I would say, in our community, so. <laughs> in and around our community, through all the things that you're doing. But one program in particular that we're mm -hmm. talking about today is the Ambassador Program. Tell me about this, how it came to be, and more importantly, how these ambassadors are really helping. Sure. Um, the Ambassador Program came to fruition from Susan, our Executive Director, Susan Turner, and Renee Henry, our uh, Director of Education. They went to New York to meet with the Simons Foundation and had applied for this grant to where we are one of four science um, centers across the nation that was wow. selected for this program. And it's essentially to decentralize the Children's Museum into organizations throughout our community to spread the word, um, education pieces, the science, and of course enthusiasm about the solar eclipse. And so each of those organizations then reach their own smaller communities. And 30 total. 30 so total. we're talking this is spread around the Wabash Valley. We actually have ambassadors in Vigo, Sullivan, uh, Vermilion, Clay, Park, those five counties, yes. Wow. Yeah. So perhaps you're watching now and you've been a part of something in those communities where the enthusiasm has been building, the word has been spreading. But the reason you all did this is because you knew this path of totality was gonna be right here. Yes. And you've also created so many educational things at the museum as well. We have, we're having a really good time reaching through the museum, reaching um, some of our local um, school communities, but as well as our ambassador programs are partnering with some local schools. So Prairie to United Methodist Church, I believe, has working with Hoosier Prairie. Oh, nice. And they just had a poster contest where the students, um, they had each winner, like one, the third, second, and first place they had posted on their own webs, um, their own Facebook page. So that was, that is a main goal of this, is mm -hmm. that those ambassador programs can partner with schools or other members in their own communities and have that outreach to where you don't have to come to the museum to have that educational piece, but of course the museum is more than happy to do it. Um, a couple others that um, are out there they're doing some good work is um, the Little Italy Festival Town um, Organization, they're an ambassador, as well as um, Central Christian Church here in Terre Haute. So nice. we have some really robust programs out there. Well, and it's great because as we've said all along, this is a once in a lifetime. So what we're doing is as adults probably experiencing something and understanding it, but when we talk about some of the younger ones, we're teaching them as well. It's teaching them the science and the understanding mm -hmm. and, and learning as we go. I love that as a community were able to really work together yes. through education yes. and you guys are making this really great too because you can't do this without the glasses and the viewers right that's right the um, Ter Ter children's museum does have our glasses for sale as well as our viewers for younger eyes yeah. Um, if they can't wear the glasses, but they're for sale in the science store for $2 each. And absolutely, you need to wear these um, for that partial eclipse up to the totality part. Take them off. And then after totality, put them back on. Which is something you'll learn from those ambassadors. <laughs> That's right. So you'll understand when to put them on and when it's safe to take them off. That's these right. are available now. They Anyone available. can stop in and buy them. Absolutely. And if you want to learn more, they have a great website. Listen, the Terre Haute Children's Museum has been such an uh, integral part of our community for so long. And in this case, they have an entire link dedicated to the total eclipse of the hoat. I want to sing it every time. <laughs> it's thchildrensmuseum.com, thchildrensmuseum.com for more information. Visit, learn, and stop by their science store if you want to purchase your glasses and your eye protection for the little ones as well. What a wonderful thing that you all are doing. Stacy. thanks for coming by. Thank you for having Congratulations me. Congratulations on all the success this is bringing because it's going to pull so many people into our, into our community. This is going to be a big deal. So. Thank you for it's fast approaching. Thanks for your <laughs> Thank time. You. And stay with us. We'll be right back.